Okay, so this one we're going to look at some plots. We're going to do histograms, box plots, and side by side box plots. So, first of all, I'm going to read in some data. I'm going to read in the wood data and the urban speed data. So, let's start with a histogram. So, how to do a histogram? With the hist command. So, if I do hist and then I pass it a, some data, so in speed, we have various things. So, let's go for the speed one. So, if I just run that, that will give me a basic histogram. So it's taking every observation and it's putting them into bins. So for example here, it's got about nine that lie between 40 and 50. And up here we've got about 42 that lie between 50 and 60. Okay, so no problem. You can see it's got a title, it's got a y-axis and an x-axis. And we can change these things. So if I come in here and I say, main and give it a different name so i say histogram of speed now when i run that you can see it's changed the title i can also change the x label by using the x lab argument so i just call the speed and i could do the y lab we could call that say i just want to put short frequency Okay, if I run that, it changes everything. So I can, if I just do the default speed speed, it will give me what it thinks is the title, the y axis, and the x axis, but I can change these labels if I want. I can also change the color. If I go color equals and give it a name, red, run that. Didn't like that, I'm going to spell to English color. like that let's try call there we are now I've got a red one and maybe I want orange an orange one okay so that's how we do histograms what about box plots well, there's a couple of ways we do box plots the first one is the box plot command so if I did again I just pass it in some data we'll use the speed one again here is your box plot. There's no axis, there's no main, there's no y axis. So I could add that. Main equals box plot of speed. I could add an x axis. Um, don't really want an x axis, but y lab would be good. There we are. What if I want to do side by side? The easiest one is just to use the general plot command. The plot command will take in a formula. In the formula you can say the first thing before the, the curly thing, which is called a tilde, the first thing before that is what will be on the y-axis and the other one is on the x-axis. So for example, I could go um, speed, oh, let's do the wood data. So if we have a look at the wood data to see what we can look at. So we've got Wood. So in the wood data, we've got preservative and loss. So if I went plot loss tilde preservative, obviously I have to tell it that the data equals wood. What R does is it looks at this right. I will plot loss on the y-axis and preserved on the x-axis, and then looks at preservative. And if preservative is a categorical random variable it will do box plots. Afterwards, I'll show you what it'll do if it was a numerical data, and then I'll take where the data is. And as you can see, what it's done is the x-axis is preservative, because it's categorical. We have two categories here, high and low. And it's put loss on the x-axis. And again, I could change the x label and the y label and the main label if I wanted to, and even give it colors. Like that. But, what if the thing after, so this is, as I said, is the tilde. What if the thing to the right of the tilde was, instead of being a categorical random variable, a numerical random variable? Well, let's try that. Let's do something like plot, and we'll do speed on C1 data equals speed. 
But you can see what it does now is it does what we call a scatter plot. Because both speed and C1 were both numerical random variables, it basically does a scatter plot. And we'll be looking at these later in the course. Okay, that's it. Bye for now.